Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Let me show you how to make a stunning nativity wreath, which will be a perfect addition to your Christmas decor. This wreath is a lovely way to celebrate the birth of Jesus and add a touch of warmth and tradition to your home. Get ready to spread the joy and meaning of the season by making your very own nativity wreath. So gather your supplies and let's get started. Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Today we're going to be making one of my absolute favorite wreaths, the nativity wreath. We're gonna do one version and I'm gonna have multiple versions and different nativity wreath styles, but this is nativity week for me. And we are gonna be starting off with a nativity sign of your choice, an 18 inch wire wreath frame. You're gonna need two rolls of a blue of your choice of a poly mesh ribbon or just regular deco mesh. And we're gonna be using two rolls of this burlap ribbon. And this is 5.5 inches. We're gonna use a little bit of straw and also some paint. I have this antique gold paint, a little strand of lights, and some glitter, and a little bit of glue to hold that glitter down. So let's get started. So I got these two different paints today. They're both antique gold, but one is a different number. One's 872, the other's 658. So I was curious to see what the difference was. Well, they definitely look very similar. All right, so we're going to, I'm gonna just use this. And this sign already has the burnt edges on the side, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And we're just going to get our paint and we're going to paint our sign and just give it a little bit extra here. Ooh, I really like this color, very pretty. So this is an antique gold. Ooh, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paint the sign. I'm gonna give it just a, one coat here and it's just gonna give it a little extra character. So we added this antique gold and it just gives it a little extra character that we're looking for. And now we're gonna add, while we're in the middle of all this, we have it on, on my painting surface here, we're gonna add a little glitter to our star. And we're gonna do all this first. I wanted to add this silver glitter. So now I have this white acrylic paint that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to add some of this to my star up here. Now I have a little bit of this tacky glue. You can use Mod Podge, whatever it is that you'd like. Pour a little bit right there. We're gonna use this on our star because we're gonna add some glitter. This is a tacky glue, and I'm gonna add that right there to the top of my star. And we're just gonna give it an extra little bling here. 
want that star to be shining bright to lead everyone to baby Jesus. I want it to be nice and sparkly. at how pretty that's going to look. So we have our beautiful star shining bright at the top of our nativity. And we have it painted in our antique gold. And now we're going to let this dry. So we're going to take our burlap ribbon. And this is five and a half inches. We're going to take two bundles for this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in three sections here at the bottom. We have our two rolls of our burlap and we're going to take one roll at a time. We're gonna fold it in half lengthwise. And we have our bars named one, two, three, and four. So the first roll is gonna come under the wreath frame and we're going to go on each side of that number three bar. And the next roll, we're gonna divide in half, and that's gonna come on each side of the number two bar. Just like that. So we have one side of each of the rolls of mesh is coming up the middle. One is coming around the number two bar, and the other side is coming around the number three bar. And this is how we're going to ruffle our wreath. We're doing two of our burlap ro rolls at the same time. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna save us some time. So we're going to flip it around and we're going to place our zip ties around the burlap and the bar. So we're gonna put our first one around the burlap and that's coming around the number two bar. And this is gonna secure our burlap here. And this one is coming around the number three bar. And I'm just placing it, making sure it's coming under that bar and through the burlap so it's going to secure it for us, making it nice and secure. And we'll go ahead and clip off our zip tie. So now we're going to flip our wreath over. And we have our burlap is secured and we have it up against this crossbar. And we're gonna do one section at a time until we get to three sections. So we have each roll of burlap is coming around the number two bar and the number three bar with each side coming up the middle here of the wreath frame. So I'm gonna take all my layers here and we're gonna work we're just gonna grab our layers, we're gonna bring it up towards the bar, and we're going to pinch it towards that crossbar. And we're just gonna continue the same pattern until we get a nice ruffle here. And we can do it as condensed as we want. We wanna make it really full, so we're just bringing it up and pushing it towards that crossbar. And sometimes it just takes a little adjusting to make sure everything's even. See how this is coming down? So I'm gonna pull that up. We're all nice and even here. And I'm gonna grab all my layers, lift it up, 
and pull it towards that crossbar where I started. And I'm gonna continue the same fashion here, making sure everything's coming up nice and even. I'm lifting it up and I'm pulling it. And then I can just hold that ruffle there with my finger while I get the next one adjusted. So we have four pieces here that we're working with, with two different rolls of burlap. So I see how I'm holding that ruffle right there. So now I'm coming to the next one. I'm lifting it. I have all my, my uh, sides are nice and even. I'm lifting it up here and I'm pulling it towards the other one. And then I can hold that piece of ruffle with my finger. And it gives me a minute to get everything else adjusted. And we're getting it back up there, getting all everything nice and even with each other. And sometimes you just have to play around a little bit. You got to give yourself some slack. And there we have it, nice and even. I'm grabbing all of my pieces here, lifting it up, making sure we're even, and we can always adjust later too, lifting it up and pulling it towards the other bunch there. And I'm just getting my sides nice and even again. And we're gonna continue and see how we need more slack already. We'll just give ourselves some slack as we go through our burlap mesh. And we're gonna bring this up again and I'm bringing it towards the other. And see how we're making this cute little ruffle here. And we're coming to the crossbar. We're not gonna need any more zip ties, but we wanna get this first section ruffled the way we want it. We want it nice and tight. You can have whatever kind of look that you're after. And look at, look how pretty that ruffle is. And by holding this, it just gives me, makes it easier for me to get everything else ready. And now I'm getting close to this crossbar, so I'm probably gonna be able to do one more ruffle. And I'm lifting it up. And that's probably about as tight as I want it to be. And so now we have this beautiful burlap ruffle that we made in one of the sections. And we're gonna continue that same pattern into three sections. So now we're jumping over that crossbar and we have one roll of mesh. Making sure we have it as tight as we want it, nice and even there. One, two, three, four. So we have our one roll of mesh is gonna come up each side of that number three bar. And the other roll of mesh is coming on each side of the number two bar with a side of each of the rolls of mesh coming up the center. So we have ones coming to the side of the bar we're wrapping the number two and we're wrapping the number three, but we have two pieces that are coming up the center of the wreath frame. So we're gonna do that same pattern. We wanna make sure our everything stays nice and even while we're making our ruffle. And we're making sure that we're pulling it up around that bar, up around that bar and we're pulling and we're holding that ruffle while we straighten everything else out again and we're pulling that again we're ruffling and we're going to continue and see how easy it is with using the two rolls at the same time it just makes it go a lot faster it just takes a little of adjusting and we are making our way through these sections here. And I'm just making sure I'm on each side of that bar. I'm nice and even. My, my mesh is 
nice and straight and I'm grabbing it up in the air and I'm pulling it towards our design. And see, it'll twist a little bit on you. You untwist it, straighten that out. And now I gotta find this other side here, straightening that out, lifting it up in the air and pulling it towards the ruffle. And I'm hanging on to it with my hand while I'm adjusting the next section. So I got all my four pieces here. I have them nice and even the way that I want them. I'm lifting it up and I'm pulling it towards the other. And I'm just gonna continue in the same fashion. I'm untwisting my mesh, making sure it's nice and straight. I'm lifting it up and pulling it. Lifting that side up. The sides up, the sides even and up, the sides up, and I'm pulling it and grabbing that ruffle. And you see it's going really fast. We've almost to two sections here. And I'm gonna unroll my burlap as we're using it up. And I'm bringing that up the bar, bringing it up holding it high and tight against that bar as I pull the ruffle. I'm hanging onto it with my finger while I get everything adjusted here. Lifting that up and pulling that. And I'll want to twist around on you and you just straighten it up while you're holding that last ruffle that you did, while you get everything around that bar nice and straight. So here I have this one up and I'm pulling it. I'm going to hold it. I'm probably going to be able to do one more. Straightening my mesh, straightening my mesh, lifting that up and pulling that. And that's probably going to do it for that one because we want to kind of fluff it out a little bit. And we're going to do one more section. We're going to jump over the crossbar. We're bringing one roll of mesh around that number two bar. The other roll of mesh is folded lengthwise and that's coming around that number three bar. So we have one coming up around the number two. And one is coming up around that number three with two of the sides that are coming up through the middle. All right, there we go. We just jumped the crossbar. And we're going to continue that into one more section here. We have our pieces here around one roll is around the number two, one roll is around the number three. And we are going to flip it over just like we did in the beginner part. Before we cut it, we're going to zip tie each one to the wire wreath frame. So we're coming, making sure you're coming under that bar. There we go. I want to make sure it's coming under the bar. And we're going to do two zip ties just like we did when we started. Just one. And this 
So now we have both zip ties through our burlap, each connected on the number two and the number three bar. And now we're able to cut our burlap. And now we are finished with that part. We're gonna flip it over. Get my burlap out of the way. And then you could just go ahead and just fluff out your ruffle. Get it nice and fluffy the way that you want. And look at how pretty that is. Look at what we just did with those two rolls of burlap. And that is going to be the bottom of our stable. And then we're going to do the beautiful blue sky at the top. And that is going to complete that section right now. And we have these beautiful ruffles. So now we're going to take our blue deco mesh. It's 10 inches. We're going to get ready to do our night sky. And you could do that same technique with both rolls with our blue, but this gets a little bit stickier with the deco mesh, so we're gonna do one roll at a time. And if you prefer to do the burlap one roll at a time, you can wrap that from the inner, wrap the number three bar first, and then go with your second roll and wrap and ruffle that number two bar. This was just a little easier way, and it saves some time doing it together. So this one, we're gonna do one at a time, and we're gonna start from the inside and work our way to the outside. So we're gonna start wrapping that number three bar. So we're gonna take our mesh, and we're gonna fold it just like we did before, lengthwise, and we're going to come up on each side of that number three bar, just like that. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my wood burning tool and just trim off that edge. So I'm gonna start just making a nice clean edge with my wood burning tool and I am on my tempered glass. You don't have to do this, but I think it would be nice just to give it that nice sealed edge so this doesn't fray on me at the ends here. So I'm, I'm starting with my first roll folded in half lengthwise and I have it on each side of the number three bar. And we're gonna just do that same thing. We're not gonna zip tie this one. We're just gonna keep ruffling it nice and tight and it will stay just fine. So I'm gonna, I'm only using the one roll so it should be a lot easier. See how I'm holding that? Why I grab this up and I pull it and it just, this one likes to stick on each other. So just take it one section at a time, pull it up and ruffle it. And then I'm holding that ruffle. Why get the next section ready? And you're just trying to keep it nice and even, pulling it up against the bar, nice and even, and I'm ruffling it and I'm holding that ruffle. I'm grabbing it up nice and even around that number three bar and I'm pulling it. And I'm gonna keep doing that same thing till I get all the way around. And you could do your ruffles as tight as you want it, as loose as you want it. You don't wanna go as tight as we did with the burlap because we are coming in with another uh, roll of ribbon here and it's gonna make it really thick and beautiful so let's let's just do another one here and then we'll jump across that bar and we're just working to keep it nice and straight lift it and pull it we'll do one more we're gonna lift and pull and see how we have this beautiful little ruffle here and now we're gonna jump over that crossbar and we're gonna come on each side of that number three bar and we're gonna just keep continuing. Lifting it up and pulling it. Lifting it up and pulling it. And it just likes to stick so you just gotta be careful 
And once you get in your flow, you'll really start moving pretty good here. And we already have done two bars and we're jumping over that crossbar and we're gonna just continue in that same pattern here. And look at our beautiful ruffles here. And we're just gonna come back with another roll and it's just gonna make that night sky even more full and fluffy. We are working from the inside to the outside. It's a lot easier. to the end and what we're going to do when we cut this off we are going to zip tie it and see it's sticking to my burlap here let's just cut it so it's a couple inches at the end there and we're going to take this we're just going to gather this mesh here and I'm gonna fold it back on that number four bar. And I'm going to zip tie this end here on the number four bar. And that's gonna hold that. And we can always clip that like so. So we've just completed our first roll here and you can at this point you can make sure it's the way you like it all your ruffles look even and we did our first roll and look at how pretty that looks okay so now we're going to take our next roll we're going to do that same exact thing but this time you have to fold your ruffle back and we're going to be coming on each side of the number two bar. So you're gonna have that extra deco mesh that's gonna, that one side's gonna come up the middle where this deco mesh is. So you just gotta be careful when you're doing it, it's not gonna stick to all of this. You can always hold it back like that as you do your ruffles. Same thing, pulling my mesh back. I'm coming on each side of the number two bar and the first one we don't have to connect with a zip tie just at the end. So now I'm doing that same thing, but on the number two bar. And you can just hold that mesh down away from you, that first roll, so it doesn't stick to this as we're trying to get it around that number two bar. And we're lifting up and we're ruffling. We're lifting it up and we're ruffling it. We're lifting it up against that number two bar and we're pulling it. And look at how beautiful that mesh is getting. And I'm just going to trim that. And let's see, be able to get one more ruffle in here. getting right against that crossbar. So now it's time to jump over the crossbar and we're wrapping around that number two bar with each side of our deco mesh. And we're just pulling this other mesh back so we can get around that bar without everything sticking. And we're lifting it up and we're ruffling. We're keeping everything nice and straight it sometimes likes to twist and turn on you and we're lift, lifting that up and 
and we got a little uneven here, so let me just even it all out again. There we go. And And now we're making this beautiful night sky that's just going to get really full and fluffy with this next layer of deco mesh, this next roll. And I'm just coming up. I'm doing that same exact thing. Just have to make sure it stays straight because it does like to twist and turn on you. pretty pretty thick so we're gonna flip it over and we're see we made it right back to that other zip tie and we'll cut it off about two inches and we'll go ahead and secure this I'm gonna just twist it in one big clump and we're going to zip tie it to that number one bar right next to that where we did the other one and give it a good tight twist and then we could trim this down and if you see these little bubbles like that that's totally fine you could just take it and kind of pull it straight you are going to have some of those there's nothing wrong with that and we're just going to keep pulling those that we can just push down. You could bring it underneath the bar if you like and just pull it up that way. All right. Okay, so we're gonna flip it over, and now we have this beautiful sky here, and you can just adjust it. If you see some ones that aren't as even, and you could just kind of, now's your time to adjust everything the way you want, and look at how pretty that is. And then if you have any of these, just cut those off. So now we have our base, we have our beautiful sky.
sky here and I'm just, what I'm doing is just even, even in it out. If I see something that I don't like, I'm just making sure it all looks nice and even and look at how pretty that is. And we're just going to clip off any of these little pieces that are coming off. And we have our beautiful burlap here at the bottom, our manger. We have our beautiful night sky. And now we're going to add this beautiful nativity sign right there. But before we do that, we're going to, we're gonna put some lights in our sky and we're gonna put some straw in the manger. So we're getting ready to attach our mini LED lights and I wanna secure this before we start to the back of the frame. And we have this little section here that's not lit up that will give us enough um, slack to bring it around the other side. So I'm gonna take a zip tie and I'm gonna secure it to that number one bar. Nice and tight. And I'm gonna do one more zip tie the other way. And that will give it a little extra security and then we can always give it a little dab of hot glue as well. All right, so I have that secured on the back. We're gonna flip it over so we're going to start stringing our lights and I have some blue Chanel stems, some blue glitter that matches the blue right there. And we're gonna use these just to secure the lights every so often. <laughs> so we brought it around the front here and on the outside, remember the, the two ruffles that are on each side of the number two bar? We're just gonna go on the end, follow that ruffle on the inside. And every so often, we'll just grab our Chanel stem and we'll put it on the wire. We'll give it a couple twists, attaching the lights. We're right in between that first ruffle on the number two bar that's wrapped around and we're bringing our lights in the middle of those ruffles. So we're just gonna grab our Chanel stem and we have it on that wire between the lights and that's just going to hold it every so often. Just keep the lights from falling out. So we're just gonna follow that first ruffle along here, along that number two bar and then we're gonna come in and follow it on the inside. So about Every so often, we're gonna take a Chanel stem. We're gonna put it on the wire in between the lights, give it a couple twists, and attach it right there to that number two bar. And I'm coming on each side and that's just gonna keep our lights secured. Giving it a couple twists. And we'll clip that down and bend the Chanel stem in half and towards the design. And that's just gonna hold it in place so they don't fall out. And we're gonna work our way around this ruffle on that number two bar that's wrapped around the number two bar. And then we're gonna come back in and follow that ruffle that's wrapped around the number three bar. So we still have some more here and cut that. Now we're going to find that other ruffle that's around 
we're going to follow that bar right in between the middle of the ruffle that's around the number three bar. And I'm going to follow that inside now, doing the same thing. look and especially at night it's just so gorgeous so I'm gonna turn the lights off for now let me flip it over and we have this little piece right here that we're going to let's just connect it with this little piece of Chanel stem right here let's connect that right to the bar and we'll do the other side as well and that way we don't have any wires. And making sure we're clipping all of those pieces. And we're flipping it around and then we have those beautiful lights in the night sky. And I'm going to turn it off for now. All right. If you have any of these kind of pieces, just go ahead and cut those off. So now, before we attach our manger, our nativity, we're going to add some straw in here and we're gonna make little straw bundles. So for the straw bundles, we want to use some tan Chanel stems that's gonna match our burlap and we can cut these in half. All right, and then we're gonna get our straw ready And we're just, I got this bunch at Hobby Lobby. We're gonna open it up. And we're gonna make little bundles. We're probably gonna make about four little bundles. Just, there's no right or wrong. I'm just trying to straighten out the straw here. And let's go ahead and cut it about 10 inches. Let's do that. Let's just cut that, the 10 inch mark. And we're gonna grab a cluster of straw. Doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna put our Chanel stem in the middle. Bend this in half and give it a couple nice twists at the base. And we have this little straw bundle here. Let's do another one. Let's just grab that rest of our straw right there. And the same thing, we're gonna put our Chanel stem in the middle. We're gonna bend it in half, give it a couple twists. And we can, we're going to trim it once we get it on there. And let's just do a couple more. We're going to attach these little bundles in our burlap here. And we're going to take our little straw bundle. We're going to... These we're going to go right through the middle 
of the um, right in between the two and the three bar. See how I'm right in the middle there? Coming up the middle, up the middle. And then I could just pick whatever bar that I want and I'm just going to go around the bar with my Chanel stem. Give it a few twists, fold that in half and then half again. And then we have just this little straw coming out of our burlap here, which is giving it that nice effect. And we're gonna keep doing that with these little bundles. So we're just coming in between our burlap. We're trying to get to that middle section here in between the two and the three. And we'll come straight through the bar there and we'll flip it over we come we came straight through and now we'll just pick that bar we'll go around it give it a few twists and then we can go in we can always clip it a little bit too And we have some more straw. Let's give it a little cut here. We'll give it a little haircut. And we're gonna keep adding some more bundles till we get the desired effect that we're looking for. Coming straight through the middle in between the two and the three. And securing the Chanel stems around a bar. Doesn't matter if you do the number one or the number four, as long as it's twisted around the bar. And let's go ahead and do another one here. And you see we have this nice straw effect here in our burlap and we can trim it as we want but I just I really like to add that extra texture to the design you'll hear me say that a lot because I just I love having that extra I love texture in my designs so look at how pretty that is gonna be here so we are getting really close with this design. So I'm gonna get my hot glue gun plugged in and we're gonna get our nativity sign prepped and ready to secure it in our design. So I have my sign here. I don't have it secured in, but that's about how it's gonna go. And I'm gonna use these two sides right here on the back right here and we're gonna hot glue i'm gonna use that same color because we're gonna be securing it into that blue onto the wire wreath frame and that way you won't be able to see this and we're gonna hot glue these on each side we can go this way and then we can lift it up or we can go this way. So I'm gonna get a piece of felt and I'm just gonna take a little felt scrap I'm gonna take two felt scraps and And basically, I'm, well, I'm gonna do it long ways here to give it some more surface area. And we're just going to attach these 
right here, the Chanel stem, and I'm gonna put a felt scrap right on top so it's gonna give it some extra reinforcement. And I'll do the same thing over here. And then we're gonna use these Chanel stems to attach it to the wire wreath frame. And this is gonna be our last finishing touch to this beautiful nativity design. One of my favorite wreaths of all time. I just love doing the nativity wreaths. All right, I'm gonna let those dry. And then we're gonna come back and attach them to our wire wreath frame. And we are gonna have a beautiful nativity wreath that we're gonna enjoy. And at nighttime, we can put those lights on and it's just gonna be gorgeous. So we have our Chanel stems. They're hot glued with this piece of scrap felt right on top. And we're going to use those to secure our nativity scene. So let's just kind of get it, let me bend them this way, get our nativity scene. We're going to get it inside that blue sky. We're gonna nestle it right there on top of our straw. And you're just gonna get it the way that you want it. Kind of floating a little bit on top, but you're getting it inside that sky there. So right around like that is about how I'm gonna want it. So I'm gonna flip it over. And now I have these Chanel stems that I'm gonna use to attach it. I'm just gonna hold it up in the air until I get it stable. Let me just give it a light twist right there just so I can let it go when I get this other side here. And I'm coming on each side of that number four bar and before I tie these off for good, I wanna make sure that everything looks good with the sign placement, with the nativity placement. Flip it back over, make sure I like that, I like that, okay. So let's go ahead and secure that for good. And if you wanna do some extra ones up here, you can I think this is going to be just fine with the two. And now I'm going to secure these once and for all. Give it a, about a half an inch twist. And the same thing with this side. Make sure it's on there. Nice and tight. There we go. flip it over and we have this beautiful design. Now we could go ahead and you could just clip your straw however you want to. If you wanna clip any of that, you can. And then what I like to do is, let's go ahead and turn the lights on. And I like to bring on this nativity sign here. Remember we had the little slack right here? I like to bring one of those lights through the star. I just think it looks so pretty. That's usually how I like to do that. Just bring that one, one or two through. Let's try to bring two and see what that looks like. I think two fits. There we go. 
So that just gives it an extra special touch. Let me turn off my light so you can see the effect at night and look at how beautiful our nativity wreath turned out. And I'm so happy that you came to my channel and crafted this gorgeous nativity wreath with me today and that you'll come back to my channel and craft with me some more. Thanks for watching Holly Hobbies from my heart to yours. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow for more wreath and crafting ideas. Thanks for watching Holly Hobbies from my heart to yours.